Institute for Young Women's Development, IYWD, is an implementing partner under the She Leads project focusing on promoting the full and effective participation and leadership of women and girls in political and societal decision-making spaces in Zimbabwe. Women in politics have benefited from the She Leads project. Having them sitting on the decision-making table means full recognition of their voices. My name is Naspa Manyao and I'm the Senator for Persons with Disabilities in Parliament of Zimbabwe. As a Senator for Persons with Disabilities, I, I sit in the Senate deliberating issues to deal with uh, persons with disabilities, bringing them up to policymakers. Uh, with Chile's project, it's uh, it helps to boost um, someone's confidence, also know how to navigate um, in the process of elections and um, how to become a good leader. Uh, the confidence, yes, I have. As for, for the knowledge, I do, but we grow as we, as we go on. And I feel that uh, for now, um, yeah, I have the knowledge, but it's like, like I said, we grow as we go on. There are some things that uh, comes along the way and some changes. So I, I feel happy because IYWD, they are always there for me. Whenever I face some challenges, I go back to the drawing boards and we, we discuss. I, I've realized that um, as a woman with a disability, I can do it like any other woman. And as a woman with a disability, I can also lead. I can also um, help other women with disabilities to become where I am today. So in a nutshell, I've learned a lot. Uh, through IYWG workshops and the She Leads program. My voice is being respected as far as uh, my position is concerned. And I feel that um, with the mantra that we have in Zimbabwe, leaving no one behind mantra, sure, it's, uh, I'm being heard and our issues as persons with disabilities are, are being heard and we are supported by the National Disability Policy, which was launched by His Excellency Mtu. Sheila is an aspiring counsellor who believes she will raise women's voices even higher through taking up the leadership spaces in her community. My name is Sheila Bamriu. I'm a member of IYWD. Institute for Young Women Development. I I come from here, where you have come, Shamba North. Um, hundred percent rural, as you have seen. I'm a ma single mother of two. My 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 work with IYWD dates back to three four years ago. I I I was not a very confident person. I was very, I, I talk, I, I naturally I talk, but um, I was not confident. And then when I got involved with IYWD, there was a lot of awareness training, advocacy training, and those things, they really did uplifted my, my self-esteem. I had a lot of confidence, and also in terms of economical empowerment, um, I, I had to start farming last year, but one I did, and I entered the seed fair competition. Of course, I lost because it was my first time to farm. You, you, you don't expect to beat the guys who have always been in it. So, I, apart, apart from that, I also started looking at the social at the service delivery. Um, when you talk of service delivery in the rural areas, it is something weird. People don't know. They don't know what the council should do for them. People don't know 
people don't know that they have a right. They have a right to education. They have a right to a health facility. They have a right to good roads. They have a right to everything that is prescribed within the Zimbabwean constitution. So through the trainings, I came back here and I mobilized um, a few young women together. We embarked on the, on the, on, 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 uh, on a journey to have a clinic. Since 1980, we haven't had a clinic here, and even up to now. And for the past two years, we've been working on that. And I, I, I can say that even though we don't have the clinic, but we have made very good strides through the trainings that I got. And they now know that we know that that is a right that we cannot be denied. And also, after that, we also realized that there are certain things that you can do as a normal person, as, as an ordinary person in the street, but you also need a cap to go with it so that you are recognized. Like you have to be a, a counselor, you have to be an MP for your voice to be heard. So I said to myself, I'm going to be a counselor. And I, when I told everybody, everybody was like, you can do it. And I, I had to find, I had to find entry points. And because of IYWD and the trainings that we had, our entry point was getting into the structures because here there are certain things that work and certain things that don't work. So I had to be in party structures here. And I made sure I was because my dialogue then would start with the traditional leaders, the political leaders here, so that I'm accepted. So I did that, and I can safely say my ward has 14 village heads, and they are all campaigning on my behalf. Right. Why? Because I was confident enough to say, look, the, I, we may make as much noise as we can, we may write as many write-ups as we can, but as long as one of us girls or one of us young women or one of us women does not have a certain cap, you will find the sitting councillor or the sitting MP sitting on your road of, of development. So IYWD has taught us a lot of things, it has taught us E economic empowerment, he has taught us to take up leading uh, um, tra um, leadership roles in, in our communities. Not only that, the, the, there's information that you, you get and information that you don't get. Here, you don't easily hear where there are scholarships from the government. You don't easily get, but we look, we have empowered ourselves and we look for that information and we become the voice of our people here and we get into vocational centers, we get our girls to go for trainings. So basically, that's how we work. We network as young women. We, 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 we have come to realize that when you have information, you are much more strong and you are much more united and you can work together. So that's that's basically what she is has, 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 has taught us. And also, you don't just get to people and say, I'm going to do this. You need to create a brand. What, what type of a person are you? What type of a leader are you? How do you then create a brand that appeals to everyone? And when you do that, everything goes and the sky is the limit. Like I'm telling you, I'm going to be a counselor for this. This is a first. There's never been a woman counselor in this ward. I'm going to be a first. When you say, when you say um, in, a, in, a, in, a full, in a full room of people, that when you introduce yourself and say, my name is Sheila, most probably a lot of people would then stop there. But I'm not afraid to say, my name is Sheila and I'm coming from Shamba North, and I'm very much rural, and I stand up for rural women. I'm very much confident, and I stand up for my girls, and I talk on behalf of my girls. 
and they would then most probably people would then expect you to speak in Shona and say, ah, no, but believe me, we do know. And we, we, we also research. And I'm not I'm not ashamed of being a rural girl. I'm not ashamed, I'm not ashamed of, of coming from here. That's why I said, if you come here, I'm much more comfortable with here. So I'm much more confident than I was. And I've learned a lot. And believe me, today I'm talking about being a counselor. But I'm not going to go on the on the political arena, which is, is the, 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 the part, the, the arena where everybody, after being a counselor, they want to be an MP. No, I am going to do it my own way. I'm going to be an ambassador. You see, I, I already have my own plan and I'm going to, that's my package. That's what she leaders taught me. You, you create your brand. You, 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 you see beyond the brand that you have created. You, you create and something else. You, my exit package as a counselor, I've already worked on it. If I don't win, that's something else. I have a package for that. But if I do win, I'm going, I'm going to be an, an ambassador. And that means I know going back to school again, and I don't have a problem with that. Because when you lead, you lead when you're educated. You uplift yourself. You develop yourself before you, before you start developing others. So I, 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 I am just there. Give me any platform. Do you know any dukura I'm going to speak? Neka Zambia, and I'll tell you in the Rubagumusha Gushamb, and I'll speak better than the Slay Queens in town. <laughs>